I didn't tell anyone. I, I, I didn't tell anyone for years. Um, because in, in, well, where I'm from, to be called a gay person, a sissy or a lesbian, those are fighting words. You don't want anyone to think you're that. Okay? So, well, you know, I kept it all in. And I put more of my energy into my education, into my schoolwork. So, like, 18, you know, no boys. I don't call boys and stuff like that. My parents didn't really think that it was strange. They just thought that I was, like, really into my education. It was just that, you know, I never wanted, I never had a desire to have a relationship with a guy. The third stage I call exploration. And this is the stage where the individual explores and experiments with this sexual identity that they are discovering. And it's, it's the stage of, of adolescence, which is, you know, a normal and healthy developmental stage. But because society does not really condone or encourage a homosexual adolescence, Many people go through this stage outside of chronological adolescence. I can't explain exactly how I knew this, but he always seemed a little bit different. And having a younger son who's only a year younger than he, I felt that their personalities and traits were such that I knew that Jamie was going to be a special child. Through his elementary school years, he was always called a fag, which I found unusual that the other children were very sensitive to his personality trait already. By the time he was in junior high school, I saw him struggling, and right before his 16th birthday, I asked him if he was gay. Initially, I felt relief to know the answer, and then I felt extreme sadness. Sadness for myself on a selfish note that I was not going to experience grandchildren from this child, I was not going to experience the wedding we all dream of, that suddenly my world came crashing down because my son was a homosexual. I spent my first evening crying. I literally sobbed, and then he and I sat down and discussed what we could do to parent him as a gay man. I also felt fear. I felt fear for the hate crimes that are evident in our society. And then I felt pride. I felt proud of my son to be able to acknowledge who he was at such a young age and that he was so proud of himself to be able to come out to us as a family and to the community.